We have covered how to fetch data using server components in the app router. Now it's time to explore something equally exciting, data mutations. When we work with data, we are typically performing what we call CRUD operations. Create, read, update, and delete. We've already mastered the read part, so let's dive into the other three, starting with how to create data. To follow along, make sure to check out the previous topic on fetching data from a database, where we set up our Prisma client with a SQLite database. We have a product table ready to use with some sample data and methods to perform CRUD operations. To really appreciate the app router's approach to data mutations, it is worth looking at how we have traditionally handled data mutations in React. This comparison will help us appreciate the benefits of the app router approach. Let's work through a practical example of creating a new product in our products table. Now I've prepared the code ahead of time, but it should look pretty familiar if you've worked with React before. Let me walk you through how everything works. In a new folder called React Form, I've created a page.tsx file with a component called create product. Here, you create a form with input fields for product title, price, and description. You will need the use state hook to keep track of these field values. Then you add an on submit event listener to your form that triggers a submit handler function when the form is submitted. Now here is something important to remember about the submit handler. For security reasons, the client side code can't directly interact with the database. That is why you or your backend team need to set up an API route to handle the create request. In our example, I'm using a Next.js API route but you can think of this as a backend endpoint. This API route does the heavy lifting of actually interacting with our database, taking the form data, and creating a new product record using the add product function. Meanwhile, on the front end side, you also need to handle the submission process elegantly. This typically means implementing a loading state to disable the submit button while the submission is in progress. If the submission is successful, you will want to redirect the user to the products page to see the newly created product. In the browser, head over to slash react form and you will see the form we have created. Fill it out and submit it. You will see the loading state and then be redirected to the products page. We see our newly created product in the list. As you can see, there is quite a bit going on here. We are managing form state, handling submissions, interacting with an API route, dealing with loading states, and handling redirects. But here is the good news. If you're thinking, there must be a better and simpler way to do this in Next.js, you're absolutely right. Up next, we will explore how the Next.js app router transforms this entire process, making it significantly more streamlined and efficient. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.